Hi, in this video we are going to talk about zeros of polynomial function. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to correctly use rational root theorem to find the possible zeros of a polynomial function, and correctly find the zeros of a polynomial function, and accurately solve a word problem involving zeros of a polynomial function. Let's review first the factor theorem. So factor theorem states that let p of x be a polynomial function. If p of r equals 0, then x minus r is a factor of p of x. So as a consequence of the factor theorem, so as a result ng factor theorem, the following statements are equivalent. Una, x minus r is a factor of p of x. Okay, so if we have um, value r, substitute natin dun sa polynomial function, and if the answer is 0, then we can say that x minus r is a factor of p of x. Now, we can also say, for this statement, kung ang p of r ay 0, we can also say that r is a 0 of the polynomial function. Okay? r is a 0 of p of x. So, if r is a 0 of p of x, ibig sabihin din yan, R is an x-intercept of the graph of the polynomial function. When we say x-intercept, yung graph ng p of x ay magkukross siya sa x-axis at that given particular value. So, halimbawa, yung r is 2, meaning yung, x in, yung 2 is also an x-intercept of the graph of p of x. Okay? X-intercept. So, R is a solution to the equation P of X equals 0. Okay? R is a solution to the equation P of X equals 0. So, meaning nito, kapag, yun nga, pag nag, uh, you substitute the, the value of R to the polynomial function, um, then that would give you 0. Okay? So, R is a solution of the equation P of X. Example ng factor if you rem. So, if p of x equals x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2, so, ito yung given polynomial function natin, then we can say that x minus 1 is a factor, x minus 1 is a factor of p of x because p of 1, kung, isa, kung isubstitute mo yung 1 sa lahat ng x dito sa p of x, so, magiging p of 1, so that's 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared minus 1 plus 2, then the answer is 0. So, we can say that x minus 1 is a factor of p of x. Thus, we can also say that 1 is a 0 of p of x. 1 is a 0 of p of x. We can also say that 1 is uh, an x-intercept of the graph of, a, of p of x. We can also say that 1 is a solution to p of x equals 0. Okay? Next, um, let's discuss the rational root theorem. Now, in finding the zeros of polynomial functions, especially of degree higher than 3, okay, of degrees higher than 3, we need to use the rational root theorem. Ano ba yung rational root theorem? So, it states that, the possible roots of a polynomial equation can be written as p over q, where p, etong p na nasa numerator, uh, those are factor, or that is a factor of the constant term of the polynomial function, and q, yung nasa denominator, is a factor of the leading coefficient a sub n. Okay? So, dalawang i-consider natin. We have the constant term, and the leading coefficient, right? The leading coefficient. Itong dalawang ito kapag ka nasa standard form ang ating polynomial function, ito yung nasa dulo, kapwa nasa dulo. So, itong leading coefficient and ito yung constant term natin. Hahanapin lang natin ang factors nila, okay? And then, i-divide natin sila. Alright? So, to find the possible roots of p of x equals x cubed plus x squared minus 3x plus 3. Ito yung given na polynomial function natin, no? Ayan. Let's identify the factors of p. Okay? Factors of p tayo of a sub o or of the constant term. Ano ba yung constant term natin dito? The constant term is 
3. So, identify natin yung factors ng 3. So, we have positive 1, negative 1. So, that's um, positive, negative 1, positive, negative 3. Okay, dalawa. Um, apat ang factors. So, no, positive 1, negative 1, positive 3, and negative 3. Okay? Ano ba yung factors ng Q of uh, the leading term? Ano ba yung leading uh, term dito? X cubed. So, ang leading coefficient is 1. So, what are the factors of 1? So, dalawa lang naman. Positive 1 at saka negative 1. And then, we find the possible values of P, P over Q. Okay? So, paano yan? Ganito. So, yung constant term natin is 3. Ang factors ng 3 ay positive 1, negative 1, positive 3, negative 3. Ang factors ng leading coefficient natin, ang leading coefficient ay 1, so ang factors niyan ay positive, negative 1. Okay? Remember that for the constant term, those are for the P, and for the leading coefficient, that's for the Q. And the possible roots, okay, the possible roots. When we say possible roots, ito yung mga posibleng value ng R natin. Di ba? Balik tayo sa factor theorem, o. Oh. We have here P of R, di ba? X minus R. So, ito yung possible, ito yung hinahanap natin, yung R value, okay? And uh, to look for that, to look for the first R, okay, we need to look at the possible roots, okay? So, ito siya. Itong P over Q, ito yung magbibigay sa atin ng mga possible roots, possible values ng R. Okay? Yung mga kandidato natin for the values of R. Alright? So, we have P over Q. So, galing dito, P over Q. So, 1 divided by 1, oh, P over Q. Ito kasi nadugtong eh. Okay? Dapat hindi dugtong pa, hindi tayo malito. Ayan. So, unahin natin si positive 1 divided by positive 1. Of course, that's positive 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1. That's also positive 1. Positive 1 divided by negative 1. So, that's negative 1. Uh, positive 1 divided by negative 1. Oh, okay. Or, para mas madali, kapihan na lang yung positive negative. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Kaya, meron siya dito, positive negative 1. 3. Divided by 1 is 3. So, kaya we have positive negative 3. So, we have 4 possible roots. Okay? We have 4 possible roots. Pwedeng positive 1, pwedeng negative 1, pwedeng positive 3, and pwedeng negative 3. Ngayon, pipili kayo, no? Pipili kayo kung anong itatry nyo una. Okay? You, you may try positive 1, you may try negative 1, you may try um, 3, you may try negative 3. Okay? And, find uh, the possible roots. Okay? So, eto ngayon, x cube. Ito ba yung example natin? x cube. Ayan. x cube plus 2 plus x squared. Hindi na yata ito. Oh, it's a different example. Okay. So, yun. Uh, but, these are the possible possible uh, values, no? possible roots ng polynomial functions. Okay. So, let's have an example. Find the zeros of the polynomial function p of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Okay. From this polynomial functions, we have our constant term is negative 6 and our leading coefficient is positive 1. So, gagamit tayo ng rational root theorem. So, but before that, we need to equate the function to zero to, um, to make it a polynomial equation. Okay. So, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals zero. Ayan. And so, using the rational root theorem to identify the possible roots, we have the constant term is negative 6, yung sabi ko kanina. Ito siya, constant term, yung walang kasamang variable. And then, yung leading coefficient natin is 1. Leading coefficient is 1, ayan, yung kasama ng leading term natin. Right. So, what are the factors of negative 6? Um, pwedeng 1 and 6, di ba? So, we have positive negative 1, positive negative 6. 
um, 2 and 3. So, we have positive, negative 2, positive, negative 3. So, these are the factors of negative 6. What about the factors of 1? Of course, positive, negative 1. And so, we get P over Q. P over Q. I divide lang natin yan. So, 1 divided by 1 is positive 1, positive negative 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 6 divided by 1 is 6. Okay? So, these are the possible values or the possible roots of the polynomial functions. So, ito sila, no? So, dami mong pwedeng pagpilian. So, pwedeng 1, pwedeng negative 1, pwedeng 2, pwedeng negative 2. Pili ka lang ng, uh, trial and error kasi tayo. So, pipili ka ng isa dyan. And then, itatry mo kung alin dito ang magzi-zero. Yung unang magzi-zero, yun siya ang first na zero ng polynomial function. Okay? So, let's try use synthetic division to divide P of X by negative 1. It's a possible root, ano? Andito siya, o, oh, negative 1. Pwede. So, trinay niya una negative 1. Okay. Using synthetic division, Pwede rin naman kasi at yung remainder theorem. Kaya lang, um, malalaman mo lang kung magsisero siya o hindi. Magsisynthetic division ka pa rin to, um, to find the quotient. So, para isa na lang ang process, synthetic division na lang ang gagamitin. Uh, wherein you can, uh, you can uh, find the remainder and also the quotient. Okay? So, May, uh, negative 1 tayo. Negative 1. So, negative 1, ayan, um, yung 1 galing dito. Of course, we have the coefficients 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. 1, 2, negative 5, and negative 6. So, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 5 minus 1, that's negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 1, that's positive 6. And that is 0. So, yehey! It's, um, the remainder is 0, ano? Uh, the remainder of z is 0. So, therefore, x, we can say that, um, kung sa factor theorem ito, we can say that x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. Okay? Um, but here, oh, uh, we are not uh, concerned about uh, that anymore. What we are concerned is that um, negative 1 is a 0 of P of X. Okay? Negative 1 is a 0 of P of X. And so we have here a reduced polynomial. Okay? So depressed, depressed polynomial. Okay? Na reduced na siya, no? So we have here the quotient as X squared plus X minus 6. Okay, x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. And so, next we need to find the roots of x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0 by factoring. Okay, magpa-factor na tayo. So, x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. So, ang factor nito is x plus 3 times x minus 2. Okay. Um, you may review your factoring techniques no, na, na, uh, that you have learned in grade 8. Okay. Madali lang naman yan. Anong factors ng 6 na kung i-add mo ay uh, na kung i-multiply magiging negative 6 and kung i-add magiging x or magiging 1 kasi 1x yan. Ano? Okay. So, that would be 3 and negative 2. So, 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay? Pasok sa banga. So, we have x plus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0. Next, using the 0 property. 0 property meaning kung magmultiply ka ng dalawang values, pe, tapos ang sagot ay 0, meaning isa sa kanila, isa sa kanila ay 0. So, you can have x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. And solving this equation, we have x equals negative 3 or x equals 2. Okay, x minus 2 equals 0. Uh, transpose dito. So, that's x equals positive 2. Okay, so hence, the zeros of the polynomial functions are negative 3. Negative 3, ayan. Negative 1. Ito yung una nating nalaman uh, using synthetic division. 
and of course yung positive 2.